105 RKDS Coachman Freedom Express Liberty Edition with Premier Package here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this is a 2015 and a half model, I guess is the best way to describe it. It features some mid-year updates that went into this floor plan and this line. You can instantly tell if this is an early or late 15 by the nose design. If it has this bullet-shaped nose, then you know that it is a 2015 and a half. If it has a little bit more of a blunt nose, then it's a common 15. And there's nothing wrong with either of them. This is just the newer stuff. Um, they've added some fun updates to this. When they redesigned the nose cap, they put in these really sweet looking LED marker lights. And that'll help you hitch up if it's dark at night. Um, speaking of hitching up, I've got a couple things to look at. Power tongue jack. This is going to keep us from getting tennis elbow while cranking the jack up and down for a weight distribution system or uh, even just leveling the camper. Now also notice on a Freedom Express you have a double size battery rack. You can put two batteries on this for double the dry camping time. Some folks like to put a pair of six volt batteries on here for a, uh, a very large reserve on their total battery experience. Um, this is Coachman's top end uh, lightweight unit. Um, you're gonna see some nicer upgrades, some nicer features, things like how they enclose the piano hinge on this baggage door. And notice that it's a slam latch door, not a, a twist lock door. Um, those things are gonna be a little more convenient from just a usability standpoint. Now, we've added a bunch of upgrades to this, and when we're inside and it's not so noisy, I'll touch more on those. But little things like this, we added the camp kitchen out here. This is an outdoor stove. Um, it's a high output grill. In a windy situation like this by the road, it won't blow out the flame. A normal little two burner stove top that a lot of campers have outside, you're gonna have a problem keeping the flame lit on those. You know how your oven at home, if you even walk by the burners too fast, you can hear them spit and flicker at you? You don't have that problem here. This feeds off those little propane bottles you can get at any big box store, and it can cook 75 hot dogs per bottle. It's a lot of cooking. Notice the size of this awning. This is about a 30 foot box, so that's a good 24 foot awning roughly. Um, another thing I always like to point out on these is when you're shopping different lightweight trailers or just nice trailers in general, there's three different ways to put fiberglass skin on a trailer. The first way is called hung fiberglass. And you can see, you can just push it. There's no structure underneath of it. Uh, there might still be a skeleton structure underneath of that, but there's no actual, uh, I don't know, lifting and structure being done to the wall of that. Now, you visibly can't tell the difference between pinch rolling and vacuum lamination. You can walk up to both of them, thump on them, they feel nice and solid, they're pretty good. And there's nothing wrong with pinch rolling, but vacuum lamination, which is what is used here on these coachmans, it lasts longer. It's less likely to delaminate. The skin is less likely to split from the structure underneath. Now, when you are shopping other trailers, walk up to the back wall. Thump on that. This coachman's solid. It's all laminated. You're not going to find that to be true on a lot of other trailers. You're going to find that that rear wall is just another one of those hung glass walls. And that can be okay. It depends on how they built it under the skin. But I trust things I can feel. I don't trust things I can't see. That's just how I am. And surprisingly, 30 foot travel trailer, super slide living room, and then a slide out bedroom. 6,900 pounds, that's it. And keep in mind that this is 81 inches tall. This is not a normal 78 inch tall camper. So you have more headroom, more cabinet room, and more space in the shower when you step in there. Now this color scheme, by the way, this is called sunset. And one of the reasons I'm mentioning this is I like to put a little disclaimer in my videos to let you know. This is here just to teach you about this layout, to tell you about Coachman. It's not to say that your camper you're taking home is exactly this one. Um, it might be. It's very likely that it could be. But I try to make the pictures and I always make our web listing match the actual unit you're taking home. Um, so one of the things I like to talk about in these is you notice as soon as we stepped inside, you don't hear the traffic from the road anymore. These are well insulated units. This is a three, three and a half season coach. Um, you know, enclosed, insulated underbelly, stuff like that makes a difference. Now when you have guests, you have two good options. This is a full pull out high to bed sofa. If you see my picture tour, you'll see that I fold that right out for you. It takes 30 seconds to open it up. Now your king dinette over here, that can fold out into a seven foot bed. 
So that's great for really tall people like me. Now what else is really cool is the storage that you get with this thing. Um, you see how big this drawer is. You see that it is all plywood construction. That's what you're going to find in this. You're not going to find particle board. You're not going to find, you know, uh, like dust board or anything. These, by the way, these are your um, uh, countertop inserts for your sink. That is part of the Premier package. And that's the next thing I want to get at with this coach, is there are several levels and echelons of upgrades involved here. First, you start with just a base Freedom Express. And pardon me while I do some housekeeping here. You start with a base Freedom Express, one of the, the best lightweight trailers out there and Coachman's top end lightweight today. Then you upgrade that and you add a Liberty Edition, which is what this is. And that's what's going to get you the solid surface countertops, the nicer LED light fixtures in your cabinets. That's going to get you the nose cap on the front. There's a bunch of things that go into it. I list those all on our site. Then we take that a step further and we add the Premier package. That's what's getting us the solid surface counter inserts, this cool light fixture here in the living room, the flush mount lights, the fireplace that you see down here. That's an electric space heater. That'll save you from using your propane to heat this unit when you already bought the electricity at the park. So if you think of it like a car, it starts as an LS. The Liberty Edition makes it the LT, and we made it the LX with the Premier package. And then we added a couple things on top of that, like electric stabilizers. Um, power tongue jack is uh, one of the standard items in there, but between the stabilizers, the tongue jack, the awning, every single thing in this is push button simple. Um, we also added that outdoor grilling station. We will generally upgrade the air conditioner in these from a 13.5 to a 15,000 BTU, AKA more powerful. Um, you know, we, we do a lot of things with these to make them very nice for you. In terms of extra cool little um, facts about these, your rear benches on your U-Dinettes are hard to get to your storage. So Coach made you a little easy access panels down here. That way you don't have to tell everyone, all right, everybody, get up. Everyone and grab your drinks. I got to take the whole table apart. You don't have to do that. Notice that even these giant windows over the dinette open. 50% of that window opens. You can't make an RV window open more than that. It's awesome. One of the cool parts of the Premier package is that you upgrade to a 33% larger refrigerator. This has a bigger fridge, more space. And rear kitchens, my favorite part is that they have more countertops and more cabinets than anything else in their class. There's two things you never get enough of in any camper, countertops and cabinets. You see where I'm going with this. Also, this drawer under the sink is my favorite part of every coachman that we sell here at Haylitz. It's the best use of space under that sink. It wraps around the bowl of the sink. But notice that you still have other drawer space here. These are all the straps to keep the chairs in place, by the way. And all of your cabinets are extra deep. Countertops and cushions are deeper than most other trailers. Your cabinet spaces are far deeper and larger than most other trailers. I'm a big, tall guy. This goes from my fingertips to my armpit. That is a big cabinet. Moving forward here, notice that even the windows on the sides of the slide outs open up. That's a big deal. Uh, you're going to find when you get out there, you don't, you're, you're just not inclined to run your air conditioner all the time. You like that fresh air and that cross breeze. Now, a lot of people like rear living rooms. You get these two chairs and a big window. And the problem is, a rear living room, the windows and the chairs are facing the camper behind you most of the time. Most people, it doesn't do you any good. But it shows really well on a dealership lot. They sell like crazy. Um, well, you get the same two chairs and big window here, but the difference is it's going to be overlooking your campsite. This is the outlook from right under your awning. You're going to see your fire pit. You're going to see your kids, your grandkids running around. That's where that window needs to be. That's why I love it. It's right where it's supposed to be. Naturally, 32 inch flat screen television is included with this. We simply take that out, um, until you take it home. So you're the first people to touch it and your stereo is Bluetooth enabled. It's also your DVD player. You can leave your phone charging next to this thing, or you can keep your phone in your pocket and it will reach two or three trailers away. The range is exceptional. Speaking of phones, this handy little uh, key hanger station here has a little hidden charger system. So you can uh, plug all sorts of different chargers in here and they give you multiple sockets because the guys at Coachman don't just build campers. 
they go camping. They understand that cell phone chargers come in a hundred different shapes and sizes. So they give you room to stretch them all out. They give you a spot where you can snake your uh, charger cable down through here. Leave your phone sitting in here nice and snug where it won't get lost. You can wirelessly play music through your stereo while sitting outside. And because the door is right next to this charger station, you can never, you, you won't miss a call. You can open the door, grab your phone, never miss a beat. Um, this is a, a good place to show you here. You can get to the bathroom from the hallway or from the bedroom. Uh, you can get to it from two different directions. And there's this is another one of those areas where the 2015 and a half updates kick in. This cool, really cool frosted spa style shower. I love this thing. I think this is great. And if this doesn't sell like crazy, I'm just I'm going to be really disappointed because I love that that the cloudy glass look on it. It's just very I don't know. Whenever you see something like a you know uh, like a futuristic movie and there's always people moving behind glass, it always has that frosted glass look. I like that. Um, you also have a nicer porcelain stool if you listen and a foot flush down here and you notice that you, again you have central air and heat in every room now this is your second slide out and it sneaks halfway between the bedroom and the bathroom so normally in a layout like this you wouldn't have a place to put towels but because you have this extra slide out you have lots of storage in here up here in the bedroom as well you've got your normal his and hers wardrobes with cabinets above, which is another area that Coachman's uh, are supreme in these Freedom Expresses. But notice, you also have an entire extra hanging closet right here with more cabinet space below. All that storage adds up, guys. It's such a big deal. I can't say enough about it. And actually, I could say more about these Coachman's, but I need to wrap this video up. So give us a call. Uh, contact our sales staff here and uh, learn even more about these. 800-256-51. 96. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Happy camping.